Brewdog Waterloo, Brewdog's biggest location in the world. It's home to their flagship bar, brewery, cocktail bar, coffee shop, workspaces, florist, podcast studio, bowling alley, Olympic swimming pool, roller coaster, helipad. There's even a nuclear arms facility. Are you sure that's right? Now, for all you people outside of Manchester, or Southerners, as I like to call you, you may have missed what happened last time we crashed one of Brewdog's openings. So I've come along with my trusty companion Rudy to Brewdog Waterloo to find out exactly what they're all about, which hopefully will involve a couple of beers. Cheers. First things first, we're in Grind Cafe. Now, Brewdog have told me that they're shit at making their own coffee. So they get these guys to do it for them. Now, Grind are an amazingly independent coffee company and they're based right here in London. And in Grind Cafe, you can order some of their fabulously sustainable coffee. You could order some of the great cakes, some brilliant pastries, or you could order from their extensive brunch menu. They've sent me over the chicken and waffles, the full English, and the Korean bacon bows. Now, Rudy, what are you saying? What shall I go for? What's that you say? The Korean bacon bow? Okay. Oh, Rudy. Good choice. So this is pretty cool, duck pin bowling. It's a little bit different. For a start, you've got tiny balls. The lanes are a little bit shorter and the pins are hung on strings. So let's find out if I'm as rubbish at this as I am with every other sport I've ever played, ever. <laughs> and I tell you what, they make it very easy to get a drink to celebrate. this out. They've even got an ice cream van inside. Last time Rudy saw a cone though was when we got his balls chopped off. Seriously though, this place is brilliant. It's a collaboration with Hackney Gelato and just look at this ice cream. This is made with Brewdog's own Jet Black Heart Stout. Delicious. So not much to say about this really. There's only one thing to do when you see a slide. Slide. So many times you see groups of people in a pub, a little bit levered, thinking, we're hilarious, we should make a podcast. Well, now you can. Put your money where your mouth is and come in to Brewdog's very own podcast studio. Hi, and welcome to Talking Walkies with me, Matt White, and my co-host, Ruby, the dog. Now, funnily enough, Brewdog are very good at making their own beer, which is why it comes as no surprise to me that they've got a fully functioning brewery just five meters away from the bar. Now, this is where they make their beer, Train Spotter. It's an exclusive brew for Waterloo, and it just might be one of the freshest pints you can get in London. Oh, cheers. This place is full of private dining areas, the Zoom rooms over there. We're in the co-working space here, which is very nice. And after you've pretended to finish doing all your work, it even turns into a table tennis table. That was too much, mate. Now, if you've made it through from brunch to dinner, like I have, you're gonna to wanna to have a look at the menu. Now, they've got the usual classics going on. We've got burgers, the will famous wings, lots of vegan options as well. But these are the ones that have caught my eye. These pizzas, they're on a sourdough and they are being cooked in a Neapolitan fired oven. They taste delicious, but these bad boys are incredible. Some of the best chicken I have ever tasted. These have been brined for 48 hours and then injected with chicken butter. I am in love with this chicken. Now, if you want to escape the hustle and bustle, you can always come upstairs to the first floor where there is a very secret speakeasy. It's ran by a guy called Rich Woods, also known as the cocktail guy, also known as the Heston Blumenthal of booze. Actually, lads, when I say secret, I mean it's very secret, sorry. And if you can't make it down to the bar in person, don't worry, they've got their own MetaDog universe, which means you can finally have a pint in your pants without being kicked out. 
They've even got their own florist after the rain with all of their profits going to charity, which means when you're in the doghouse and you haven't to buy sorry flowers, you can feel twice as smug about your peace offering. So these guys really have thought of everything. Not only have they got your train beers sorted, but also the exit leads straight out onto Waterloo Concourse. Doesn't get more perfect than that. Come on, Moody. <laughs>